first type in Hasura quick, whoops, Hasura, Hasura Docker quick start. That's going to get you directly to this page. And if you scroll down, you have the options to grab a Docker Compose file. So I'm going to, oops, I copied too much over there. Wget. I'm going to pull that down. And I'm going to wget that right into my project directory. So now we have a new file, Docker Compose YAML. Okay. I'm going to close that because we already know what we need to do here. That documentation has basically the Docker Compose up, et cetera, commands to get you started, which we're about to do. All right. In here, if we take a look at that file, boom. You'll see here's the Postgres server. Postgres server password, you'd want to take that out and put it in environment variable um, to not commit this to a repo publicly. So be sure to think about that. There is plain text secrets in this file, but it's going to get us started locally with the v2 version of Hasura connected to a Postgres 12 database. So let's do that. Let's uh, docker compose up slash d. And we should just get started started. Yeah, there we go. So if we do Docker PS, we'll get the containers. And it looks like we're good. It says up for five seconds. And this one says up for four seconds. So I think that's long enough to go and check it out. We can just navigate over now. Again, per local development, we just do localhost 8080. And boom, there we go. Our instance is starting up. So I have all my stuff in the directory. I have this pointed at localhost. So with the CLI, I can type now Hasura console, and it's gonna launch this. Now notice it says localhost 9695 because it's a local instantiated console, which now will grab all my migration changes. Let's go to data. We'll create a schema and we'll do various samples we're going to create that schema and then inside that schema oh, and you can see it acting over here it's, it's taking care of business right the first thing we want to do is create a table and we're to call this users because every database has a users table right uuid whoops let's get that in there right uuid and then generate random uuid can be unique and then we'll do name and text and then let's add a stamp and we'll add a timestamp like that we'll talk more about timestamps in just a second we're going to add an id so now we're going to have our initial table 